Hi everyone, welcome back. Jedi here. I'm uh, off out tomorrow morning, pretty early. So I'm just out in a man cave at the moment, getting a few bits together in my um, new respirator bag. Um, thanks to Paul Fifty One Foxy for recommending these ones and showing showing a couple of these in, in his videos. I went and bought myself two of these as well. Um, I think it came to about three pound twenty for one of these, including shipping. And um, it's an absolutely perfect size bag, just as a little scouting bag. And that's what I'm using this for at the moment. Just to chuck a water bottle in there, kettle in there, a few other bits and bobs as well. Um, I've been quite busy the last couple of weeks uh, with lots of things going on with the log cabin. So I've been taking the time to go out more twilight, just as the, uh, the sun's going down um, into the woods. So I've not really been taking the camera with me. Um, I'm going out tomorrow and I'm going to go out first thing in the morning so I am going to take the camera along do a couple of videos but the reason for this one is um, I won a competition it's the first one I've ever won um, great guy Louisville Gar uh, ran a competition a subscriber appreciation competition and um, I was so chuffed to find that his we little one had picked my name out as a, as a third place winner. Um, I know kind of roughly what's in here because I saw the video of that he put up uh, describing the prizes that will be given away. Um, but I don't know what the other two places chose. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what we've got. Um, unboxing knife here will be the San Renmu 710. Carry this one around with me regularly. Had it well coming up for a year now. I think it's still going great guns. Um, don't take it out of the house for obvious reasons, but um, let's uh, let's see what we've got here. Still nice and sharp. Um, I've chuffed. I won. I won a competition. <laughs> Wicked. Um, That's uh, quite tough to open. Get my fingers in there. There we go. I'm going to do what Scott from Wessex Blaze does. I don't know what's in here at the moment, so I'm just going to give you a close up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know if you can see that, or how well you can see that. Uh, no, let's turn around. Let's have a little look. Oh, there's a little note in there. Thanks for entering the contest and I hope you enjoy the goodies. Take care. Thanks, Gar. Appreciate that, mate. I really appreciate you sending it across to the UK as well. Um, oh, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm a right one for pouches, I must admit. And um, as much as I like the new Maxpedition gear, um, which is cool, um, I like these old style ones as well. Oh, man, there's a few. Oh, look at that. Um, first thing out is a pouch. This is an old US Army pouch. I don't know whether it's an ammo pouch or uh, or what, but it's got a really good heavy duty popper on the front. And a nice uh, big belt loop in the back there. Um, I might use that as a little tool pouch actually. I think that's, that could be really quite cool for um, things like a folding saw. Um, in fact, <coughs> I've got this little Dalak folding saw which I'm going to do a review and comparison on and uh, I think that'll go in there quite... oh it does, it fits perfect. Well that's one item, I'm, I'm, I know I can get a couple more in there as well so I might use that as a little tool pouch on the belt. That's really cool, nice one. Um, paracord bracelet, haven't got that colour paracord, never had that colour paracord. I've made lots of these cobra stitch things as uh, Handles, pulls on zippers, bags, that sort of thing. Um, but that's awesome, mate. Nice one. Thanks for that. I think that should probably be about the right size as well. So he's left a little tag on there, so I can uh, so I can adjust it a bit. But there you go. Little cobra weave paracord bracelet. Must admit, I've never really had uh, one of these bracelets or worn them. Made lots of other things, as I say, zip zip pulls and handles and that. So I'm never sure what paracord, but that's uh, that's brilliant. 
Uh, let's go with the Altoids tin. So the Altoids tin, um, I got got tons of these, so always appreciate another one. Um, but in here, I believe there are a couple of bits as well, if I remember from the video. Oh man, little button compass, nice one, and one of these crazy cool little torches I love these little things I've only got one of the um, blaze orange ones so I think what I'm going to do is maybe use that as a uh... how cool are they brilliant for just a you know a little bit of illumination I might use that as a as a zipper pull or something oh well you can see that fantastic uh, little tube of super glue Always handy to have a little tube of super glue, I tell you. I use super glue for an awful lot of things, so uh, that's fantastic. And also what's really cool in here, and I've never seen them this small, it's a little emergency survival blanket. And that one is 84 inches by 52 inches, which is, uh, which is a good size. So... Um, I think I'm going to swap one of my larger ones out and, and stick the smaller one in there. Awesome. Thanks, Gar. Really appreciate that, mate. I say, I appreciate you sending it across from uh, from the US. Um, and the other thing in the box, loving the tin. Kodiak Moist Snuff. What a cool little tin, though. And if I'm if I remember right, what's in here will be some fire starters. If I remember right, uh, how do we get the lid? oh there we go. Oh, it's quite a nice nice fitting lid as well. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. So some of Gar's uh, fire lighters. Awesome. And there's. Uh, Oh man, what a smell come from there. There's, uh, what, six of those in there. That's awesome, mate. Really appreciate that. Thanks very much. Really appreciate that. That's, that's brilliant. Love the little, uh, love the little plastic container. Um, I shall use those without a shadow of a doubt. In fact, I'll probably use one for a brew tomorrow. Um, so just a quick video. Thanks very much, Gart. Really appreciate it. Enjoying your channel. Hoping you'll get a few more people over there to check you out in your videos. Um, I'll certainly still keep supporting you, mate. Um, thanks again. See you in the next videos.